G'day guys and gals, welcome to another game of Vids Vidya. Uh, in this one, we are going to be covering how to mod Skyrim in 2021. Um, this is a beginner's guide. This is aimed at the beginner, someone who has no modding experience whatsoever. So if you do have experience, check the link below. There will be a link to a short version of my videos. Otherwise... Uh, if you're a beginner and you have no idea what to do, keep watching. I'll go through it step by step. In this one, we're going to follow much the same routine as before. We're going to install a mod as well as a um, utility. So today, we're going to install SSE Engine Fix, which fixes a lot of things for. Um, it happens with the Skyrim engine, as well as we're going to install Immersive HUD. Now, this one, what this one does is essentially it lets you hide the elements of the HUD. So that's the little logos that pop up, the health bar, the mini map, all that sort of stuff. If you don't like it there, you can hide it or you can select for it to disappear or only pop up with a hotkey or all sorts of things. So it's quite useful depending on what you want to do. If you're happy with just the vanilla version of the game, then you can basically skip this mod, but something I would recommend would be the SSE engine fix. That fixes a whole lot of bugs. But anyway, we will kick off with that. Now, just like any other mod, we're going to check out to see if there's any requirements, and this one does have a requirement. So for this mod to work, we need to get the address library for SKSE plugins. Now, I've already got it here. Again, all links will be in the description below, so don't stress about trying to find it. So we've gone over to the plugins, hit the requirements. There is no requirements for this mod to work, but as you can see, a whole bunch of other mods require this mod. So we're going to go over to files. We're going to come down to here, download with manager, and we're going to start downloading. There we go. Vortex will start managing that. As you can see in the background here, it's already downloaded and it's ready for install. We're going to come over to files here, and we are going to download part one of this mod with the Nexus mod manager. Now it says here that there are a few requirements for this mod. Address library, which we've just downloaded. SKSE64, which we already have in. And Microsoft uh, Visual C++. Now I've installed this and I haven't had to use this. I just use Notepad. So as long as you have something that can read and edit notes and script files, and by script file, I mean um, here. So the .ini file, as long as you have something, so for me, Notepad reads that just fine. It is a little bit harder, I guess, to see certain things, whereas C++ is a lot more of a, is a, lot more powerful tool than just notepad and there are some things that notepad won't open but i haven't found <clears throat> i haven't found any any files or any files i've had to edit where i've had to go out and get a whole new program all that being said if you do want it it is free you can just click that link in there and you can follow the prompts and all that and start downloading it but for today's video, we won't need it. So I'm just going to hit download. Slow download. It's going to kick off in a few seconds. And it started downloading in the background. Now keep this page up because we will need to get part two as well. Now this one has to be installed manually, which I'll show you how to do. But for now, we're just going to download it. And all we're doing at the moment is we're just getting everything ready, everything where we need it to be. Start downloading. 
And with this one, just like before, I'm going to get a little thing pop up here. Yep. And it's going to shoot to where I've told it to download everything. For you, it's going to be different. We're going to close this down. And finally, Immersive HUD. We're going to just go ahead and download this. Again, I recommend reading the front page. It tells you what the mod's about, usually how to install it. Uh, always check requirements, offsite requirement, SKSE 64, we've already got it. Again, these are other mods that needs this mod to work. So if you want to install any of these, you're going to have to install this mod. All right, yeah, we're going to go to files. And this is another one we're going to download with the mod manager. Uh, yep, just like before, it's let us know that we need SKSE 64 in order to use this mod correctly. We've already got it installed, so we just hit download. Slow download, and it's going to go do its thing. Okay. And as you can see, everything has popped up here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the engine fix first. So if you remember, the engine fix required the address library in order to work. So we're going to activate this mod first. We're going to do the install. We're going to activate. We're going to check to make sure it, yep, it hasn't put any plugins in. And if it has it, they're active. Now, what we're going to do is get engine fixes up and running. So to do that, we're going to install the first part. Enable. It's done its thing. Plugins. Yep, we're all good. Now we're going to minimize this. We're going to go to, we're going to go to where the file downloaded and we're going to make our way to our Skyrim folder. So again, find where your Steam library is and it will be in Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Skyrim special edition. So now what we're going to want to do is unzip this with your zip unzipper of choice. I'm going to go into here and as you can see we have three DIL files. Those three DIL files are going to get dropped directly into here. And copy. Done. So we can close this down now. We can close that down, open that up, we're going to open this up, engine fixes, description, installation, as you can see the um, instructions for it are right here, install part 1, we've done that, install part 2, extract your Skyrim folder, three deals should be alongside the Skyrim, uh, the Skyrim, oh, come on, you silly thing, the Skyrim, there we go, se.exe, which all that means is those files need to be in the same folder as that, which is what we just did. So that's all done. We can actually close that down now. And now the engine fix is installed and ready to go. We're also going to install Immersive HUD. Yep, and now that's installed. Going to just check out plugins. As you can see, iHUD or Immersive HUD added a plugin. That is fine. We're going to go back to mods. Okay, and with that, we're going to go in game and check out Immersive HUD. See what it does. Alright guys, I'll see you in game. Okay guys, here we are in game. We are going to go to... System. Mod configuration menu. Immersive HUD. So these are all the options that come stock standard. So as soon as your... As soon as you install the game, these are the settings that it's going to have. Now, for me, I had active. 
I had hotkey is X, so if I leave the menu, hit X, it brings up my compass. Now in the normal Skyrim settings, I have a lot of things being handled already by the vanilla game. Which means that I need to go to settings, I need to go settings, display, crosshairs, I need to turn everything on. Uh, dialogue subtitles isn't handled by iHeart. General subtitles isn't handled by iHeart either. Turn that on. Gameplay. I'm not using a controller. Show floating markers. Okay. So now we're going to come down to mod configuration menu. And iHeart will start managing all this stuff. I'll just quickly pop out of here. Yep, system, I had immersive HUD, advanced, I had is active, I had hotkey is X, press X, uh, key press toggle. So what that means is I'll click that, I'll exit out. And what that means is I've hit X, pops up. I hit X again, it disappears. If you have it set the other way, mod configuration, immersive hard, that if you have it set the other way, oh, oh, board, like that, then your compass and whatever you've got selected to pop up will only pop up while you're holding X. Um, effects always on. Uh, active effects on keys, yes, yes, we want all that, crosshairs always on, we want that off, but if you did want crosshairs on, then click that, and as you can see, crosshairs are now on. System, mod configuration. Uh... You can also select when you want them to come on. So if you don't want them always on, you can select when you want them to come on. So when looking at something, wielding a melee, wep melee weapon, wielding a range weapon, wielding a spell. So as you can see, it's on. I put the bow away. It goes away. I pull the bow out. It comes back on. So basically what this mod does is it hides the things on the HUD that you don't always need all the time so you can have a nice clear view of everything that's happening. Alright, so everyone's settings is going to be different depending on how they want them personally. But yeah, that's how you set it up and you get it all working. You can go through these and figure out what works for you and what doesn't and go from there. Alright, and with that guys, I'll see you back on the desktop. And there you go guys. Just to recap on this video, what we've done is we have installed part 1 and part 2 of the engine fix, which happens in the background and you don't really see any visual effects or anything like that, but it just helps to make your game a lot more stable, helps fix a lot of bugs and stuff like that, stuff that can just ruin the immersion of a game. Uh, we installed the address library so that the engine fix can work. In addition to installing, where's it gone? There it is, Immersive HUD. And like I said to you guys at the start of this series, using a mod manager like Vortex just makes modding so much easier and so much smoother. And uh, as far as your mod, uh, your load order goes, Currently, I have auto sort enabled. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably look at installing a few more mods and even another tool. But it's time to leave it there. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But remember, mod the games that you want to mod the way that you want to mod them. 
but don't forget to have fun. Bye!